As the atom, I can shrink to the size of a subatomic particle and ride electrons along the phone wires. A physicist. And this goes beyond medicine. Batman's cells are mutating. Before long, they'll overwhelm his central nervous system, causing a loss of motor control, then paralysis, and finally, the human lung. Mother Nature is truly our greatest architect. Look, dendritic cells, alveoli, about 15 microns, small enough to slip between Batman's cells without damage. And, uh, that's Batman's cilia you're hanging from. As we travel through the villi, the CP4 barium sauna wave will indicate any monoclinic philosilicates in our vicinity. English, man, English! <sighs> this little doohickey beeps when the cooties are near. All the trials and tribulations for nothing. Huh? huh? The super pets. Huh? All this trouble with reverse flash, and they're just digging a hole under the wall. Of course! Brilliant! Hey, guys! Wait for me! <laughs> Cyborg's laboratory. Great job, Maniac's Dick. armor made him impervious to harm. From the outside, at least. He'll survive this minor brain surgery. He just won't be able to control his skull ship anymore. Crisis averted, I can get back to searching for my missing mentor, Professor Ray Palmer. Last year, Palmer dove headfirst into the microverse, a subatomic dimension he himself discovered. In case he got lost, he left behind a trail of clues and designated an asthmatic research fellow, yours truly, to follow them. That trail's gone cold. Which is why I'm upgrading my bio belt with Brainiac's technology. It's my turn to go subatomic. I know the strong is the bravest hero out there. Professor Palmer, he's an Einstein level genius. He trusted me with his astonishing legacy. The Atom is not going to let him down. Brainiac shrinking technology is amazing. I wonder if I could... Hey, what's going on? You're not supposed to be here. The Atom. We'll need to defeat him if we want to acquire Brainiac's ship. Concentrate more on fighting and less on making size related puns. Interesting. Reminds me of one of my earliest inventions, but shinier. I know the red skies are freaky, honey, but I'm sure it's just atmospheric. <clears throat> Dr. Ryan Choi? Disturbance. Babe, I gotta go. Wow, is that really you? Dr. Ray Palmer. Oh, and. Gosh, I'm Brian Choi. It is so wonderful to meet you. Your second paper on subatomic density manipulation was the foundation for my work on miniaturization. Wow. Thank you. You know, I... Okay, Dr. Choi, we need you to come with us right now. Look, you've seen the red skies outside. The world is ending. Dr. Palmer, who are these people? We are superheroes, and Ryan, we need your help. <laughs> sure, Dr. Palmer. Good one. You're going to tell me I've been nominated for the Breakthrough Prize in Fundamental Physics? Okay, we don't have time for this. Seeing is believing, right? Did you... Your... Elongated man? Are, are you superheroes too? I know this sounds cuckoo, pal, but... You're what's called the Paragon, which is a fancy word for saying... We need your help to save the universe. Dr. Choi. If the world's ending, I need to go home. Please, Ryan, we really need your help. No, you don't. I'm no hero. I'm a husband. And if this is the end, I have to be with my wife. 